Good morning from the studio at West and Mr. Peterson's advisory. I'm Robbie. And I'm Ellie. Today is day two. Hey, Robbie, you want to hear a joke? Yeah. What did the ocean say to the shore? What? Nothing. It just waved. Did you see what I did there? <laughs> now let's check in with Sahana for today's Where in the World. Can you identify the location of these famous monolithic statues? If you are the first to enter the correct answer, your name will be read at the end of this news show, and after advisory, you can stop by the main office to receive your lunch line budge pass. Now here is today's Where in the World picture. And now over to the sports desk with Ava. The Wyzetta West wrestlers traveled to Central yesterday for a triang triangular versus Central and East Middle School and Minnetonka. The wrestlers fought hard in all of their matches. Elijah Wald wrestled tough to defeat two opponents in some fast-paced matches. Pierce Holmes worked in his butcher to pick up two pins on the day. Nothing could stop Zach Stenberg's cradle in a major decision over Liam Dorm from Minnetonka. Adam Cherney wrestled hard against older and heavier opponents to pick up one pin and a two to zero win. Will Bernard proved to be a stronger and quicker than Chase Garcia of Mi Minnetonka after scoring four takedowns and winning his match 13 to six. Joey Metzger Viomes kept in a good position and did not allow a point scored against him, defeating Lucas Erickson six to zero. All the wrestlers gave their all in their matches and looked strong on the mat. Their next meet is Tuesday at home versus Edina and Hopkins. Keep up the good work, wrestlers. Now let's get a check on the weather with Yuktha. So currently it's 31 degrees and it's uh, overcast. Next slide, please. All the cold fronts that's been causing the tornadoes has moved on to the um, ocean. Next slide, please. We're going to have a major cool down midweek next week, and there's going to be a chance of snow. Now, back to our anchors. Wow, it looks like it's going to warm up on Sunday and Monday. Now over to today's announcements. It is showtime. Why is it a West Middle School's fall production, How the West Was Done, will open this week. How the West Was Done plays with the form format of the Western and moder modernizes it for comedic effect. Coffee will be served in the saloon. The villains will go on strike to gain attention. The band of deputies will not be able to save the day. Instead, the women of low humidity chasm will have to save themselves. In the end, they will unite to celebrate low humidity chasm's past, create a new future for their town, and make the audience laugh. Come see why it is West's fall production, How the West Was Done, this tonight, at, this tonight at 7 p.m. or Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. Tickets will be sold one hour prior to each performance is at the door. Tickets run $5 for students and seniors and 7 for adults. The next Young Scientist Roundtable will be on Monday, December 5th from 7 to 8 at Central Middle School. This month's speaker is Dr. Lucy Dunn from the University of Minnesota. Dr. Dunn's presentation presentation is titled Engineering Wearable Systems from Sportswear to Spacesuits. And don't forget Teen Roundtable is from 810 to 840 when students are invited to meet with a speaker to discuss the topic in more depth. Now back to our anchors, Ellie and Robbie. Wow, those are some great announcements. I might go have to see the play. Mm -hmm. Now here's the weekend wrap. Shout out to Hammond Middle School in Laurel, Maryland. We see y'all out there learning and stuff. It's been two weeks. Did you miss us? Vocabulary's back now. Let's get down to business. Fidel Castro is dead at 90. And the irony is he passed on Black Friday. He brought socialism to his island nation. A polarizing figure. He was loved and hated here in the U.S. Our president-elect currently has the cabinet to select, a.k.a. the people who will serve with him and help.
help him run the government system for Secretary of Health and Human Services. Tom Price is the top pick. His main thing is what? repealing what? and replacing what? Obamacare. Also, he'd run Medicaid and Medicare for chief strategist. Trump chose Bannon. And a lot of people have urged Trump to can him. They say he'll bring racist views to the West Wing, but people close to Bannon praise and defend him. Next up, a walk down the runway. Isabella Spring Moon knew she'd be there someday. She has Down Syndrome, which caused some fashion schools to reject her applications. But she's breaking down barriers for folks with disabilities, because this young designer made it to Fashion Week. Next, let's check out Alaska's forecast. As a state, they're warming twice as fast. Global warming means some communities might flee flooding. Call them climate refugees. At a Canadian aquarium, two whales die. Activists try to defend their lives. They want marine captivity to be illegal. Should animals have rights like people? Space is a place that, believe it or not, needs a trash collector. Who wants that job? Mitsunobu Okada, a man from Japan, wants to be the first outer space garbage man. Grabbing old satellites and other debris, trying to keep the solar system nice and clean. And now that's a wrap, if you know what I mean, I'm about to ghost from this here screen. Wow, that was a great weekend wrap. Yeah. Today for lunch is Big Daddy's Cheese Pizza Slice, Big Daddy's Turkey Pepperoni Pizza Slice, Hot Ham and Cheese on a Croissant, Entree salad with the sides of tossed salad, fresh carrots, sticks, fresh fruit, and chocolate chip cookie. Um, the fastest responder with the correct location of today's picture is Samantha Johnson from Miss Avery's advisory. Congratulations, Samantha. You can stop by the office to pick up your lunch line budge pass. The answer to today's problem was Easter Island. Today's quote is, if I had eight hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend six sharpening my axe. Abraham Lincoln. Thanks for watching. And, and make, make it, it a, a great, great day. day. You've seen the posters around school, and I'm sure you've heard people talking about it. But now, after many laborious weeks of hard work and practice, it's finally here. How the West Was Done. How the West Was Done takes place long ago in Low Humanity Chasm. What? We got sick and tired of dry gulch. How the West Was Done loves to play on old Western stereotypes, like how the good guy always shows up on time, and sometimes even in the nick of time. How the West Was Done also has a great love story, along with social outbursts and main characters you can really fall in love with. Like our heroine of the story, Sheriff Wayne John, plus the laugh out loud clumsy deputies, along with our bride-to-be Polly Cracker and poor Miss Widow Cracker, plus the hated banker Richard Coldheart, our villain of the story, Snidely Dastardly, along with Calamity Jan, and our musical talent of the group, the Indianians, the owners of Old Mini Creek Inn and Bow and Sal. Calamity's gang, Littlest Kid, Kid Kid, and Silly Kid. The Bart Gang. Plus, Laugh Out Loud Hysterical Cowboy Bob. And a lot of other great characters like Prunella, The Reverend, Lone Stranger, Townspeople, and Bell Star. Plus, our great narrators who walk you through the entire How the West Was Done. Wait, what now? 
Oh, I got an idea. You should go see How the West Was Done performing live on Thursday, December 1st at 7 p.m., Friday, December 2nd at 7 p.m., and Saturday, December 3rd at 2 p.m. Tickets are $5 for students and senior citizens and 7 for adults. Tickets are sold at the door at the night of performances, and the performances are at YZ West Middle School. Thanks for watching, and I will see you there. Filmed and edited by Carly Glomstead. Plus, a special thanks to Miss Krause and Mr. Bracky for directing the middle school production of How the West Was Done.